Um, let's continue to talk about the uh, principle of x tube. And last time we know that after the uh, filament is heated, so the electrons they will acquire enough kinetic energy, so that these electrons can escape the filament. Okay. After these electrons escape the filament, they will be accelerated through a high voltage. Then the speed will vary very fast. The very, very fast electrons, when they hit some metal, then 99% energy will be converted to heat. But also there is a 1% energy will be, will be used to create the X-ray radiation. So this kind of X-ray radiation you can use to do some X-ray imaging. That's the basic idea of the X-tube. So, how we use the X-ray created by the X-tube to do some X-ray image for the human body or animal and so on. The basic idea to use the X-ray for X-ray image is shown on this figure. So, we, we have an X-ray source okay the x-ray source will create the x-ray then the x-ray will go to pass through some human body okay when the path the x-ray pass through the human body <clears throat> some x-ray will be absorbed by the human body some x-ray will not absorbed will pass through the human body then come to the some x-ray detector so because the human body or the animal body they have different uh, attenuation coefficient that means when the x-ray come to this human body some x-ray will be absorbed so become weak some is not absorbed so different <coughs> location of this human body have different attenuation coefficient. This, co this coefficient is the tissue property. It's a function of the electron density, at atomic number, and also the structure of the human body. So the t attenuation coefficient are different in different Place. So the X-ray detector will detect a different X-ray come to this detector. For example, this point is weak, the detector is weak. This point is strong, this point is, will be strong, detect. So based on the different distribution, they detect. They can show the clearly of the image of this object. In fact, what is shown here is the mathematics. Okay, there is this is the integral. So integral is the uh, attuation coefficients. Okay. Also, there is a constant. This constant will be is a fixed number for every point on this body. So, just to show the basic idea of the X-ray image. This is a real X-ray system. In fact, an X-ray system we have because we want to get the image. Okay, so the X-ray system add some image intensify. Okay, so it, the the whole of this part is intense intensify, intensify to help the 
detector you detect the, the detector x-ray detector okay detect the x-ray then translate the detect information to an uh, image okay they so that's they can show on some computer in the display okay that's so that's the uh, real model for the real x-ray system In fact, we know X-ray image requires interaction with the X-ray photons with the object, okay? Working in a specific energy band. If the energy band is above, if the energy is above that band, the body generally is too transparent. If below the band, the body is too Opca. So both of them is not okay. So we hope we found that is that we are below this band. Okay. The wires are too long. So we need to find the, the correct any bound information. Then we can get the real image stuff. Okay. So, one problem with X-ray image, I think everybody knows, there is just one image. There is no depth information. That's we know. So, because that's just go the uh, the uh, two. This is the two D images. So it is a human body, you know. They just get the plane. But the human body, you know, is a three D. There is a depth. So how to solve this issue? The scientists de developed another image technology based on X image. We called it computerized tomography. That's called a CT. I think everybody knows. CT is the image technology. It's used to image of a cross section size of the body. Use X ray. So you guys know it's based on X-ray. So CT uh, was invented by Dr. Housefield in 1971. This guy also received the Nobel Prize in medicine in 1979. What's the best idea for the CT? In fact, the method is constructing images from a large number of measurements of X-ray transmission through the patient. Okay, so there are some mathematics here. They use the X-ray image to create a CT image. In fact, the result images from the X uh, from a series X-ray images are tomographic maps of the X-ray linear attenuation coefficients. Okay. So CT is a three dimensional, X3 is two D dimensional. This just show uh, X3 CT. Okay, this is the um, traditional image of CT image. So how the CT, X-ray CT uh, works. In fact, you guys know uh, X-ray, when we talked about X-ray, when the X-ray come here, okay, they pass through the object, then create one image, okay? So the way, basic idea is create one plan. So the basic of CT, they just, they, they originally they say, oh, you created this direction, just this small, small, slides okay get one image so the basic idea is two two things one is the x-ray source can be rotation okay they can rotation rotate the x-ray source then you can create these slides then uh, is rotated they will create another slides another slides another slides different slides so that's one way another way also they can they can also rotate the X-ray detector, okay? 
So both of the X-ray rotated and the X-ray detector rated, then they can get their one slice. A series slice, not just one slice. What do they call it meet here? Because the X-rays go to different direction, okay? They mix that. There is a hole here. So limited the X-ray just go to this small slice. If there is no collimate here, they will go to different direction. That's massive. So that's the basic idea of the CT. Definitely, the inside mass mathematics are very, very complex. What I talk about here, it just let you guys have a basic idea. So, in fact, there are several generation CTs. The first generation just use the single X ray source, you guys here, also single detect. Okay? There is the, then the X ray source and the detector, they just load. See here, load, 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 load. Then you can see, when you guys do CT, you know, you found the machine just to uh, load, the, the metal is loading. That means the X ray source and the single de the detector is also a uh, Rotate it. Currently, we have the uh, fourth generation CT. It's a fan beam, fan beam, okay? Just the, the moving the X ray sources. But the detector is not, it's not, it's not rotation, okay? Detector is fixed. But you found that the detector is at the, it's just there for the whole stuff, they can detect. So just the, the X, X ray source is the inside circle. The outside detector is stationary. Then the X ray source rotated, then can get one slice, then get different slice. Then the whole human body slice, they, they compose a series slice. Each slice is one. Image. So you guys see the CT, it's a different slice, okay? Perhaps 100 slides or some slides. For the, when you see the CT image, there they, they will be a lot of slides. If you go to the, uh, go to the uh, hospital, sometimes they give, can give you a different slide if you uh, use the CT to copy, okay? So that's the uh, four generation CT. This just show the um, basic machine currently use, okay? So I think if you guys have experience to the CT, you will know this kind of stuff. Um, this, uh, this, the, the, you, when you go to the CT, um, this the X, X ray uh, source will be uh, rotation. You can hear some sound there. Okay. So the human being, when do the CT, the human being should be the head, or the human being just keep the uh, static. You cannot move. Because it's move, the uh, imaging will be not uh, accurate. Okay, what I show here is just some uh, example images obtained by the uh, CT, okay? So, um, so that's the uh, X-ray in the CT. Uh, I'm not sure, um, I will put some uh, readings uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the uh, cameras, so you guys can read more uh, materials to understand the details. Uh, let's see next time.